Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. This is gonna be another Spartan video, but this is gonna be a little bit different. So this is the first race that they're holding since the coronavirus outbreak. And so the regulations that they are enforcing are, from what I understand, drastically different than they are before. Just a quick rundown. We have to have these face masks upon check-in. I don't think we have to run in them, but we still have to have them in like the festival area from what I understand. Uh, also, they're not allowing any kind of like, um, I don't know if loitering is the best word, but they're only allowing people in 30 minutes prior to their race time. And I'm assuming as soon as we get done, they're going to try to usher us out to kind of limit the human interaction or whatever to prevent the spread or what have you. But uh, this video, I'm going to show all of the obstacles. I'll show some of the um, festival area. I'm not sure how much of a festival it's going to be, but I'll show some of the festival area, hopefully get some of the precautions they are taking so y'all can get an idea on future races that I think they're still scheduled to have at least a couple this year. Hopefully this will give you guys a good idea of what the new uh, Spartan is and allow you guys to make a decision if this is something that you want to do or wait until it gets kind of more back to normal. Uh, but stay tuned. I'm going to have a little bit of commentary at the very end to just kind of sum up my experience with it. Let's get it.
Okay, so I want to give a really brief synopsis about my experience with this race. Um, first of all, overall, it was a, a really good experience. They weren't as adamant about the face masks as I thought they would be, but I think that's going to vary from state to state. Um, so in this particular race in Florida, you know, they, they kind of let us get away with not wearing it, like, you know, while we were kind of out in the open space. But as you can see in the video, all of their employees and volunteers uh, were required to wear the mask. And then as you notice in some of the obstacles, they have lanes, designated lanes for people to go in. Uh, fortunately for me and my friend, we raced at a, during a wave where there weren't that many people. And so we didn't really have the bottlenecking effect. But in those cases, they have designated lanes and then they have designated lines where people can wait to help with the social distancing thing. So Spartan overall, uh, I think really took the best precautions that they could. Um, they even took out some of the more at risk obstacles or higher risk obstacles that they think would spread the virus easier or something. So a prime example would be like the dunk wall, um, some of the carries like the sandbag carry and things like that. I did see every now and then uh, the volunteers would be cleaning some of the items and things like that. Granted, it, it, it would just be very difficult for them to do it after everybody went, so like after each person, but they did try to keep it as clean as they could. Uh, I will say that they only allowed us in 30 minutes prior to our scheduled start time. And then during like the, the pre-race and the post-race, you have the festival area. Well, <clears throat> obviously it wasn't as extravagant as it usually is. There weren't as many vendors and things like that. They, the store was a lot smaller um, and in open space. So they, they kind of make it to where, you know, if you want to go in there and get something, you know, go do that, but then don't kind of like really linger around. So pre-race, we get there 30 minutes prior to that gives us time to, um, you have to rent a locker. They don't do the free bag check right now. So that gave you time to get the locker, uh, stretch, do whatever you got to do. And then even, uh, even though we got there prior to our start time, they were letting waves go almost every five increments, five minute increments instead of the usual like 15. So we got there early and uh, so we were able to go about five or 10 minutes prior to our 845 start time. So that's just something to keep in mind. And then like I said, after the race, we kind of just took a couple pictures here and there and then kind of went on our merry way. Whereas usually I kind of stick around socialize with uh, people that I run with and things like that, but they, you know, kind of discouraged that and, and, and really wanted us to enjoy ourselves and still adhere to like the social distancing rules. Um, with that being said, like I, like I mentioned, the rules are going to change from state to state, obviously. Um, currently looking at their schedule, I, the next one that I'm looking at to be interested in would be in West Virginia. I don't believe they're offering too many more Spartan races uh, up until then. I know they are offering a lot of hurricane heats, which is a whole different beast than an actual Spartan race. You would have to do a little bit more research into that and see if that's something you'd really like. Um, if you are interested in that, I just did a 12 hour hurricane heat, as you can tell, uh, last weekend prior to this race. And if y'all want that uh, video on my experience with that, leave a comment down below and I'll gladly tell you all about what we had to do there. But like I said, it's completely different than a typical Spartan race. But with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope it answered any questions that you may have. Uh, please remember to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment if you want to. Uh, all the support is greatly appreciated. Uh, remember that major changes start with minor steps. And see you guys on the next video. That's good.